Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you about uh, Visual C Sharp uh, tab controls. Now, I understand this is quite basic, uh, just hang with me. Um, I never went over them in the beginning tutorials, but I really couldn't think of anything because I'm saving networking and SQL for uh, later tutorials. Uh, the reason I'm already on my Windows application is because if you'd like to learn how to start a Windows application, go back to my previous tutorials. Uh, now, basically, you, all you have to do is open up Visual Studio, New Project, Visual C Sharp tab, Window tab, and then Windows Form tab. Now, when it loads up, you're going to need a form. Um, you're going to want to go over to the left side of the interface and make a tab control and then resize it. Notice how it has two tabs. Now, in the first tab, you're going to put a text box in there. And you're going to want to make it multi-line. Now, once again, in my past tutorials, I teach you how to make it multi-line. Uh, so go back and watch those if you don't know how. Oh. Actually. Sorry, I did this in the wrong tab. Uh, just redo that real fast. Sorry. True, and then resize it. Okay, and tab two, you're gonna make two check boxes and a button. Now you're gonna want to name checkbox one, rename it to food, and then checkbox two to Toys. And then button one to submit. Now there's going to be no email capability because if you go back and watch my one of my past tutorials, it's actually my last one, number 10. Um, I taught you how to do email, so if you'd like to uh, implement that, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, I just don't have time because the email I was barely able to get in 10 minutes and that was with cutting stuff out. So yeah. Um, once you have everything resized, now um, to rename the tab pages, you're going to go into the behavior tab and find tab pages and the browse button. Now you can rename this tab page to whatever you want. I'm going to rename mine to um, going to be comments, uh, comments, sorry, comments, and then tab page two. I'm going to rename to what do you want. Okay, now um, we're just going to add some functionality. I want you to double click the submit button. And under the button one underscore click, you're going to want to type if. If, open parentheses, checkbox one dot checked is equal to true. Enter. Uh, open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket, and then inside of the curly brackets, you're going to want to type message box, message box, dot show, open parentheses, uh, thank you for your purchase, it will be shipped you in two to four business days and then close quotations close parentheses now you're going to want to make another if statement saying sorry if checkbox two dot checked equal to true Same procedure, and you're going to want to change it, and you're going to make message box dot show open parentheses close uh, open quotations. Thank you for your purchase. It will be shipped to you in one to two days. Now, the reason the time varies is because. Uh, if you remember, checkbox one was food and checkbox two was uh, toys. 
Uh, so, you know, the toys are going to take less time than the food. So if we write blah, 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 and then we check food, it's going to say 2 to 4. And then if we check toys, it's going to say 1 to 2. So there's a very simple uh, review of checkboxes. And then there's how to use tabs. As you can see, they're very easy. Um, you could possibly set it up on a timer to where it'll change the tabs uh, every so every few seconds. But uh, yeah, there's your basic overview of tabs. Thanks for listening. Comment, rate, subscribe, tell your friends. My email is vadlike12 at gmail.com if you'd like to ask me some questions or leave a comment if you have a question. Uh, thanks.